lonely, it's not a good feeling. You feel like there's no one there for you. I was at a summer camp when I heard about what a buddy bench was. A buddy bench is a place when someone is lonely, they can sit on the buddy bench and another person can come up to them and ask them to play and they can play together. I thought that this would be a great idea for my school because not only have I been lonely, but I know other people have been lonely themselves too and it's not a good feeling. I told my mom about this and she said it was a great idea and that's kind of how it all started. I'm Sammy Vance and my project's called Sammy's Buddy Bench Project. If you're a shy person like me and you're too scared to go up to someone and ask them if you can play with them, a buddy bench is like a signal so those kids that are shy or lonely can sit on there while other people know to come up to them and ask them to play. Sammy's Buddy Bench project is unique and different because the buddy benches are made out of recycled plastic caps and lids. To make a buddy bench is actually a really neat process. So you, basically you collect the caps, bring them down to the recycling facility called Green Tree Plastics. They grind up the caps, melt them down, put them into molds. They become the buddy bench and then they get shipped out to the community. In Fort Wayne specifically, there are buddy benches at schools and also at local parks. Sammy's Buddy Bench project has impacted over 100,000 people. We've also collected millions of caps and also brought buddy benches to different states and different countries. I have definitely heard many stories about people using the buddy benches and it being helpful to them. Adults have said, oh, my children use the buddy bench and they met their best friend on it which is really cool and inspiring to me. It motivates me to keep on going. The pandemic has impacted so many people in so many different ways. We have had to change a lot of things. Schools were closing, so they couldn't collect plastic caps at the school in person. But I have found ways around that where local parks started collecting here in Fort Wayne. And also, I have gotten to speak to a lot of groups on Zoom, so it's made, I think, more of a positive impact on us than negative. I am super grateful and thankful for the grant money that the Children's Museum of Indianapolis has provided my project. I plan to use my grant money to not only spread buddy benches across the world, but also to help spread my book and my message. My book is called Inspire the World, A Kid's Journey Making a Difference, and it is about my journey and how other people can make a difference no matter their age. My advice for young people is you don't just have to be an adult to make a difference. You could be a kid too. Many people might tell you that you can't do this because you're young, but you can make a difference no matter who you are. Music